Hello. In this episode, I wanted to uh, do a quick update of, uh, of the things that I've done in the van since I started the channel. So there's only a few things, but I thought, you know, have a quick update, do a bit of a summary and see what's left to come. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll add some cards up in the top corner here um, as we go through, just so if you guys want to have a look at the videos and see see the detail of what, what happened, then um, it'll all be there. And also, I'll do a playlist. Um, at the end so that you guys can watch them from the beginning if, you, if this is the first time you're finding my uh, my channel um, then feel free to subscribe and hit the like button and, and have a look through the playlist and just see the bits and pieces that I've done so far so like I say we'll start at the front um, so if you haven't seen it I've done an audio upgrade series and one of these was installing door speakers and in the dash um, so these have been an upgrade and We've done a bit of driving now and it's, it has made a difference. It's much clearer and much better quality of sound than, than the speakers that came out of the factory. And I've also added these um, theatre system speakers to the, uh, to the underside of the shelf that I've put in when I was building the van. Which the sound is great and I haven't got any, any worries about the quality. <laughs> the only thing I've found so far is that actually I get that mobile phone interference where it sort of sounds like a digital bird tweeting at you. Um, so I think I've got to try and do some sort of EMI um, shielding to make sure that actually the, um, the the mobile phone doesn't make any any difference on it. It's only coming out of one speaker for some reason. It comes out the one above my head, um, which is the most annoying because it, it happens while I'm driving. But anyway, other than that, I'm really happy with it. So yeah, the speakers are great. The front speakers are great. It's all working really well. Um, I was conscious that in my van tour that one of the things I didn't actually do um, was I didn't really show you guys the the awning. So we've got it out a bit here in this uh, in this campsite that we're at. Um, it's not out as far as it can go because uh, because the pitch is, isn't actually deep enough for us to uh, to extend it all the way. The tree that you can see in the clip here is is actually the access road that goes between the pitches, and so that's as far as we can go out. It's controlled with these with these switches. So the little red button is the one that um, turns the system on, and then you can extend it or retract it with the little black button. So if we move around to the back of the van, you can see these these mosquito nets that we've made. This is our first attempt really and I think this is probably a bit of a prototype and a learning curve so I think we'll probably remake these. Um, but so far they've worked really well. Um, they're open at the bottom because I forgot to put some poppers at the bottom. But we've slept with the doors open a few nights now and um, actually uh, it works really well at keeping the, uh, keeping the mosquitoes and the other little insects out. So as a proof of concept it works really well. We've also got one made on the, uh, on the kitchen window. Which, um, which works really well, that's, uh, that's better. It's got Velcro on the glass and it just basically Velcros itself on, so that's working really well. As part of the audio upgrade series, I also installed some speakers in the, uh, in the back doors. These are Bluetooth speakers and these work really well. Um, we've managed to connect them to our phones so far. <laughs> and although I said about not having a projector, I've, <laughs> I've actually gone ahead and bought a projector um, and I've used some um, blackout material for curtains. Um, so one side's completely black and the other side's white. Um, so it works really well because obviously the light doesn't go through the um, the light from the projector doesn't go through uh, like a like a thin projector screen. Um, so actually it's really nice and clear, um, and the projector actually connects into the Bluetooth speakers. So uh, that works really well. So moving aside now, I've also fixed our oven. Um, you may have noticed in the van tour if you've seen that um, that one of the one of the knobs was missing, the left hand burner, um, and this is actually <laughs> this is actually fixed now. Um, so now we've got both burners working, which is not necessarily a luxury, but it's nice just to have everything working. And um, and you know, if you're trying to cook a pasta sauce and a pasta at the same time, it, you know, you don't have to wait for two things to be cooking on one burner. So yeah, it's a real improvement. One of the other things I did was add some locks to the under counter cupboards. Um, this is you know worked great. Nothing's fallen out on our long drive that we've done recently. And the locks in the upper cupboards that we've had for a while, you know, they've been working perfectly. So again, have a look at the video up in the in the corner here. Um, of just how I installed those. It's very straightforward. It's just all you need is basically a switch live, and um, uh, and it yeah it works great. You don't have to worry about ever locking a cupboard again. It's such yeah it's very very easy. So one of the things that I've done that I haven't actually filmed and shown you guys um, is this switch panel that we've got. Um, I realised that when it's really dark in the van, it's actually quite difficult to find the power buttons and the light switches. So I added some red LEDs on a on a light sensor so that when you put your hand up into the switch panel. Um, a, uh, a red light comes on um, and it illuminates all the switches. This makes it so much easier when fumbling around in the dark trying to find the right light switch or because everything's everything's basically powered off of one power button it, it basically makes the system live so you haven't got that on you can switch everything onto your heart's content and nothing will happen. Um, so yeah this has been you know great in the dark. 
um, obviously being red you don't really necessarily it doesn't illuminate the van too much so if you are trying to be a bit stealthy actually a red colour is better than a white um, and also if you do come in in the pitch black and you get a white light coming it's a bit of a shock whereas this red one this red glow is a bit nicer so it's on a PIR sensor um, so you can just see it's just gone off there um, and I've also added one to the to the sliding door as well um, I've actually added a light sensor which um, is next to this um, speaker in the cab so basically it, it waits until it's dark outside um, so that the, the light isn't coming on and off every time we come in and out of the van like when it's daytime we don't need the light coming on so it only comes on at, the, at night when it's dark enough to trigger the light sensor and then the PIR sensor sensors galore really um, there's uh, yeah there's just some red LEDs above the sliding doors so that as we come in um, we can see our footing and, and make our way around to the to the light panel so just some small improvements just to make the van a bit better a bit more usable um, and just increase our enjoyment of it really. So there we go, that's a quick update of, uh, of the few things that I've done in the van the past few months. Um, still to come, I've had a delivery of some lithium iron phosphate battery cells, um, so I've got, to, uh, I've got to make a new battery for that. So I've got uh, eight 280 amp hour cells um, to make up a 560 amp hour 12 volt battery, um, so I'll be doing that at some point. Um, and like I say, go and have a look at some of the, the back catalogue as such. There's not that many there, but you know, I'm slowly making more and more. Um, and still to come, I'm still not I'm still not too happy with the with the, the cupboard doors, so I've got to remake those and um, and the bed. I've really got to remake the bed now, uh, and I think that'll be part of um, of the battery um, installation process. In that I want to you know make the batteries more safe um, and make a you know a proper place for them to go. Um, so that will probably come around the same sort of time you know the bed and the batteries um, it's like I say anyway it's a new channel please do subscribe hit that like button if you've uh, if you enjoyed it give me a thumbs up it does help me to grow if you've got any any nice comments to leave below please do and also coming up is uh, is going to be our trip to Italy um, I'm currently filming this on a, on a campsite just outside Venice um, so you know I'll, I'll do a two-part series probably on our on our trip to northern Italy um, it's been fun so far we're only halfway through so yeah, still more, plenty more to come, so yeah, please do hit the notification bell and, and select all just so that next time there's a video come out, um, you do get notified of it. So yeah, if you've made it this far, thank you very much for watching and um, I look forward to, uh, to you watching another one. Goodbye.